If you have installed Debian 12 on your computer and have no idea about what to do next, this video is going to help with post-installation setup where I will show you the top 12 things you must do after installing the Debian Linux in 2023. I will guide you through the crucial step needed to optimize the Debian Linux in 2023. And without further ado, let's get started. During the installation of Debian 12, you might be prompted to set a root password. If you have assigned a root password, you won't be able to use the sudo command with the standard user account for package installation. So when you try to use sudo with your self-created user account to install any package, you may encounter an error message. We're going to fix that issue. In my case, kskryl is the default user. I'm going to add this user to the sudo words list to gain elevated privileges. To do so, type su to log in as the root user and enter the root password. Then type nano etsy sudo words and scroll all the way and add this line exactly what you see next to the root user. In your case, replace this part with your username. That's it. Now press Ctrl plus O to save the changes and press Ctrl plus X to exit. The type exit to exit out from the root account. Now if you run any command using sudo, it should work fine. If you have installed Debian 12 using the DVD ISO, you might encounter an error message saying the repository CD-ROM does not have a release file whenever you attempt to update your system. To resolve this issue, type the following command to edit the apd source list. Then look for the CD-ROM repository entry in the list. Now comment out that specific line by adding a hashtag at the beginning of it. Then save the changes you made to the apd source list. Now run the update and upgrade commands again. Now you can see the error has been resolved. The country and non-free repositories contain a wide range of useful packages that cannot be found in the default repositories of Debian. For instance, you can find NVIDIA drivers and many other valuable software in these repositories. To add the country and non-free repositories to your system, simply type the following commands one by one. Once it's done, type this command to update the source list. It's time to install NVIDIA drivers. If your computer ships with an NVIDIA graphic card, it's recommended to install NVIDIA drivers. To do so, type this command to install NVIDIA detect package. Now run this command that is going to show you the information of the NVIDIA graphic card. It will recommend running a command to set up NVIDIA drivers on your system. You go ahead and type this command to set up the NVIDIA driver on your laptop or PC. It's time to replace apt with nala. Nala is a frontend for apt or dpkg, the package management library used by apt. It's designed to provide a more user-friendly interface to apt with features that make it easier to use and faster. The key features of nala include faster download speeds, color-coded text, easy installation, removal or upgrade, and see the history of install packages. To install nala and debian linux, Run this command and press Enter key to install it. Now install any package just like the way you do with apt. 
but instead of saying apt, replace it with nala. Installing essential packages can greatly improve user experience with Debian Linux. Run this command to install Linux headers. It contains list of all kernel functions and data structures. You need them if you want to compile your kernel modules. Now once you have installed kernel headers, you can then run a command to install some useful packages that can make your life easier. Now these packages can include various utilities, tools, and software that can help streamline your workflow and make it easier to perform various tasks. Installing Java and Debian 12 is essential for running Java-based applications and developing Java programs. To install Java on Debian 12, you can type this command. Now this will install the default Java development kit called OpenJDK. Now once it's done, you can verify the installation by checking the Java version. Now, installing Flatpak on a Debian Linux system is the most essential thing you must do. It enables users to run applications in isolated environment without compromising the base OS stability and flexibility. By using the FlatHub repository, you can almost download any GUI application of your choice. To set up Flatpak on Debian 12, run this command and press Enter key to execute. Then copy and paste this command from the description to add a FlatHub repository. That's it, we have done setting up Flatpak. It's better to log out and log in back to start using Flatpak. Now let's try to install Blender using Flatpak by running this command. It's that simple and you can see the Blender has been installed. Now let's install some useful applications that will enhance your basic workflow on Debian Linux. You can go ahead and install applications like LibreOffice, VLC, Transmission, OBS, Obsidian, and Spotify. Now along with that, installing TimeShift allows you to take a backup of your system and restore it in case of issues. You can install TimeShift by running this command and use it to backup your install packages, applications, and data. In Debian Linux, Firefox comes as the default browser. It's considered as a good practice to customize Firefox before you start using it. To do this, follow these steps. Open Firefox and access the Settings menu. Navigate to the General section. Now let's make some changes to the start of settings. Enable the option to open previous windows and tabs when you start a new Firefox session. Then under the Browsing tab, choose to enable Smooth Scrolling and Picture-in-Picture -picture functionality.
And lastly, ensure that you enable DRM content playback to enjoy high definition streaming services. Additionally, you can enhance your browsing experience by installing various extensions from the AdSound store. But by personalizing these settings and adding extensions, you can significantly improve your browsing experience in Firefox. If you have installed Debian Linux alongside Windows in a dual boot setup, you may have noticed that the default timeout limit in the Grub Bootloader is set to 5 seconds. This can make it difficult to manually select a different boot option. To fix this, run this command to edit the Grub configuration file. Look for the line called Grub Timeout Limit and change the value to 30. If in case you have installed Debian on a standalone computer, you can set the Grub Timeout value to 0 to speed up the boot time. Now once it's done, save the changes. Now update the grub by running this command. Now when you boot up your system, you will notice that the grub timeout limit has increased 30 seconds. This gives you plenty of time to select the desired operating system and make a boot choice. Some users on some specific hardware may notice a higher battery consumption rate on Debian Linux than on Windows. Now, this could be noticeable on the laptops. The easiest thing you can solve this problem on Debian is simply installing auto CPU frequency. But this is a very useful tool that actively monitors the battery state, CPU usage and temperatures, ultimately allowing you to improve battery life without making any compromises. To set up auto CPU frequency, head over to this link and copy and paste this line of code into the terminal. Now once it's installed, change your directory into AutoCPU and execute this script to set up AutoCPU frequency. Once it's installed, you can type this line to learn the usage of the command. Now let's go ahead and activate it to run as a daemon service by running this command. You can check the status of this service by running this command. And also run this command to see the real-time statistics of the system resources. UFW is a security tool that can help protect your computer from network traffic and block malicious software from accessing your network via the internet. To set up a firewall on Debian Linux, you can install UFW by running this command. UFW allows you to have full control over enabling and disabling ports. For example, if you are running an SSH server on port number 22, you can disable this port to prevent connections from remote computers. And that's pretty much it. These are the top 12 things you must do after installing Debian Linux in 2023. If you have any suggestions or queries, do let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check my blog post linked in the description for more information. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.